In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best method for setting up your cold email sending accounts. This process has changed quite a bit over these past couple of months, and a lot of the videos out there are outdated. And if you follow them, you're gonna launch your cold email campaigns and your emails are gonna wind up in spam, okay? It doesn't matter how good your cold emails are. It doesn't matter how many leads you have or where you got them from. If your emails are not landing in the inbox, you will not book meetings and you will not close clients. This part of the process right here is literally gonna be the most important part of your entire cold email system. Not only am I gonna be showing you the method that's gonna save you the most money, but this is the method that's gonna make sure that your emails stay out of spam. It's very important that you follow along this video from A to Z without skipping anything. This process is very delicate. Even missing one small step can end up sending all of your emails to spam. And so make sure to follow along very carefully. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. The very first step of this process is to head over to GoDaddy, which is gonna be the best place to purchase your domains in 2024. It used to be Google, but Google recently sold off to Squarespace and Squarespace has a lot of anti-cold email policies. And as a result, if you use their domains for cold email related activities, a lot of your emails are gonna to go to spam. The reason that we use GoDaddy is because it's official enough that we'll get good deliverability and there's not gonna be any pre-blacklisted domains. But more importantly, they have a deal with Microsoft 365 where we can essentially get the actual email provider for significantly cheaper. When you're buying your burner domains, you wanna always buy .com domains. You don't wanna use any numbers and you don't wanna use any dashes. And so here's an example of five burner domains I've already purchased. Our company name is Lead Odyssey. And so you can see I'm just putting different words in front of our company name, like tryleadodyssey.com, runleadodyssey.com, goleadodyssey.com, get and demo. For the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and buy email leadodyssey.com. And so, you know, you'll just want to type that in. Now, you might be thinking, how many burner domains do I need to purchase? Each domain will equate to two inboxes and each inbox can send 25 to 30 cold emails per day. If you buy five domains, that would be 10 inboxes totaling to 300 cold emails per day. I would recommend buying a minimum of five burner domains so you can have a minimum sending volume of 300 cold emails per day. Knowing that you can do the math and reach your desired sending volume. For the purpose of this video, I'll just be going through this process with one domain. We'll go ahead and check out. So all we want to do is you know add this to cart now again if you're buying five domains you want to do this for five burner domains and add them all to your cart go ahead and press continue that's going to take us to here now you do not want to have full domain protection so you'll turn this off it's a waste of money you can uncheck start your website for free and then this is very important so you want to scroll down and right here where it says microsoft 365 email essentials and so in 2024, we don't wanna be using G Suite. They also have a ton of restrictions around cold email. If you try using G Suite for your email provider, a lot of your emails are gonna to go to spam and you're gonna have a really low open rate. Best method in 2024 is gonna be using Outlook as our email provider. Outlook actually comes along with Microsoft 365. GoDaddy has actually made a deal with Microsoft where if we purchase Microsoft 365 through GoDaddy, we get a massive discount. Instead of paying $8 a user per month, we only have to pay two dollars a user per month so you can do the math that's going to save you a ton of money so it's very important that you select microsoft 365 essentials and then you'll go to continue to cart once you go to checkout it will look like this you want to take your domain registration from three years down to one year domain full domain protection want to make sure that's off and then right here where it says microsoft 365 essentials so here's the one thing in order for us to get the 75 percent discount we have to pay for 12 months up front which is 100 percent worth it this is what i recommend doing what you want to do is you know again we're going to need two users per domain so in this example i'm only purchasing one burner domain and so because of that i'm going to purchase two users if you were purchasing five domains you would want to increase the user count all the way up until five. And then we're gonna go ahead and check out. So I'll go ahead and do that. Just like that, we've purchased two inboxes for the next 12 months. And so we only paid $60. That gives us two sending inboxes for the next 12 months. So what I really like about this is that, you know, you pay for it and you have it for the entire year. Whereas, you know, you don't have to worry about paying that $6 per month. So once you've actually purchased the domain and purchased the users, it's time to assign the users to the domains. And so we're gonna go ahead and press continue. Next it's going to take you to this window it's going to say create a new email account and GoDaddy has made this really easy for us and we can actually natively create our users inside of GoDaddy's platform. So, you know, again, remember I'm doing this with just one domain. You'll wanna repeat all the processes in this video for each one of your domains. And so you can see on the right hand side, it says email leadodyssey.com. And so that's the domain that we're gonna be creating users for. 
all you would do is the process we're about to do, you would just change domains after you finished it. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make both of these emails admin users. You only need one admin user, but creating two just makes it easier if all of your users are admins. For the username, we basically have to choose a different username for each user. For the first username, I always just do jackson at email lead odyssey.com. For the second user, you can do jackson dot Williams. And so first name dot last name, or you can do first name and then the last letter of your last name. And so I typically just do Jackson W for that second user or the first name and last name. You'll just, you just want to put your first name and last name as it really is. You don't need to put any fake names or anything like that. And then account type, it's going to give us the option to choose from all of the email essentials license that we purchased. For this example, I purchased two licenses. And so you can see right here, there's basically two email essentials licenses that expire exactly next year. So what I'm going to do is select one of them for the first one and then select the second one for the second one okay and so remember you only want to create two users per one domain for you you'll just create these two users and then the final field is the email that we want to send the login instructions to and so i'm just going to basically select my main email and so it can send me the login credentials there again you're going to click create account and it's going to create two users for that domain and then for you if you bought multiple domains you'll want to go up here where it says change domain select the second domain and do the same process and then one more thing before i press create account you'll want to go to link domains and select do not share. Now, you know, you can look at kind of what this looks like. We've successfully, you know, configured the two users. Now I'm going to press create account. You can see it's going ahead and creating those accounts for us. Once you've created two users per each burner domain that you purchase, it's going to take you to this tab right here where you can manage all of the users that you've created. Now, I've obviously just only created two users and you can see a lot more than two users here. That's just because these are users that we've created, you know, a couple months ago. First thing that we want to do is locate a one by one to each one of the users that we've created. I found one of the ones I just created right here, Jackson at email lead odyssey.com. I'm going to click manage and it's going to take me to this window right here. Very first thing we want to do is scroll down to advanced settings select advanced settings. Now we're only going to see one option under advanced settings. It's going to be SMTP authentication. You're going to want to go ahead and select on. I recommend doing this right away just because it takes a little bit to load. This is the setting that al actually allows us to connect these users to softwares like instantly or smartly and actually connect them to those cold email sending platforms. And so very first thing you're going to want to do is turn on that. And then the second thing we're going to want to do is select recheck DNS. Now we're just going to select it one more time. So recheck check DNS. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to set up a lot of the records for us. And so there's really three key records that we need to set up in order to have good delivery. That's going to be SPF. And so what we just did is going to automatically connect SPF. So that's the first key record. Now, the other two records are going to be DMARC and DKIM. And so by clicking recheck DNS, that automatically configures SPF for us. But throughout this video in a minute, we're going to have to set up DKIM and DMARC. And so the two settings that I just did, you're going to want to do that for, you know, all the users. And so here's the second user right here. I'm just going to go to manage advanced settings, SMTP and I'm gonna select it one more time. And then again, I'm gonna scroll up to recheck DNS and I'm gonna go ahead and select recheck DNS. And this is automatically configuring SPF. So you wanna repeat this process for all of the users that you've created. And then you can go ahead and move on to the next step of this process, which is setting up DMARC and DKIM. The first step to setting up DMARC and DKIM is clicking this waffle icon in the top right-hand corner of this window and selecting domains. And this is going to show you all the domains that you've purchased. Remember, I'm again, I'm just following this process for one domain, but you'll want to repeat it for all the domains that you purchased. And so the one that I just purchased was email lead odyssey.com. And so I'm going to select this domain. It's going to take me to this tab right here. The very first thing that I'm going to want to do is where it says domain privacy, I'm going to want to turn that off. And so if you have domain and it's going to ask me again, if I want to do this, I'm going to press continue. And so this actually helps your deliverability because by default, it's going to be turned off. This sends fake contact information to the who is directory, who is directory plays a big role in communicating with the ESPs. If you have it turned on, it makes you look like more of a spammer. And so the very first thing that you want to do is turn it off to boost your deliverability. Then you're going to head over to easydmark.com. You're going to go to products 
and you're gonna hover over DMARC record generator. So this is what we're gonna use to create our DMARC record. And so you're gonna go to back to the domain, you're gonna copy it right here where it says asking for the domain, we're just gonna put www dot and then we're gonna paste in our domain. So for policy type, we're gonna put none and then report send to, it's very important that you put a real email here that also has DMARC set up. So I'm just putting jackson at leadodyssey.io, that's my main email. For subdomain policy, I'm gonna put none. For SPF identifier, I'm going to put relax and then DKIM identifier. I'm going to put relax reporting interval and percentage applied. We're going to leave these as they are. And then failure reporting send to we're going to put the same email that we put up here. And then right here where it says one, we're actually going to go ahead and uncheck this and then we're going to turn it on to zero. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and press generate. And this is going to generate a custom DMARC record for you. That's been configured properly. You're just going to select the blue copy icon this is going to copy it to your clipboard. Now we're going to head back over to the domain and the very first thing we're going to do is select dns next to overview that's going to take us to this window right here you're going to want to select add new record you're going to choose an option you're going to choose txt for the name you're going to put underscore dmark okay and then the value you're going to paste the record that we just copied from dmark generator ttl make sure this is on one and a half hour you're going to press save and once that updates you successfully configured dmark which is the second most important dns record but we still have one more. And so we're going to head back to easy DMARC. We're going to hover over products again, and we're going to go to DKIM record generator. Okay. And so you're going to go ahead and press that. And it's going to take you to this page right here. And so we're going to also want to put in the same domain. So www.emailleadodyssey.com for selector, we're going to put lowercase s one key length should be set to 1024. Then we're going to select generate. And what we're going to do right here where it says s one dot domain key, we're going to copy that and we're going to stop at the period. So again, we're going to copy s one s one dot underscore domain key, we're going to head back to the domain, we're going to create another DNS record. And for the option, we're going to choose txt once again. And for the name, you're going to paste the s one dot underscore domain key, and then you're going to head back and right here where it says record value, you're you're going to copy this and then we're going to paste that where it says value ttl should be set to you know one slash two hour and then you're going to press save now we successfully configured spf we successfully configured dkim and we successfully configured dmark so these are the three crucial records but we're not quite done yet, okay? And so the very next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to forwarding, and it's gonna take us to this window right here. And right here where it says domain forwarding, we're gonna wanna select add forwarding. And what you're gonna do right here is you're actually gonna put your main domain and so for us, that's www.leadodyssey.io. You're going to select forward type permanent, and then you're going to press save. And what this is going to do is, you know, when you send a cold email to a stranger, a lot of the times they're going to copy your burner domain to see who sent them an email and you want it to forward them to your main website or your main landing page. And this will significantly increase your cold email results. The very next step of the process is to connect this new user to instantly. Go ahead and head over to your instantly dashboard and select the blue add new button that'll bring up a page like this you're going to want to select office 365 slash outlook it's going to double check and ask you if smtp has been enabled which we already did that so we'll select yes it's going to bring up this little pop-up window that's basically the the microsoft login so we're going to enter one of the users that we just created so jackson at email lead odyssey.com select next it's going to redirect you to the godaddy window login for microsoft 365 and then all you're going to do is enter your passcode which those credentials will have been sent to you all we're going to do right here where it says permissions requested we're going to select consent and then accept and we'll give it a minute to load and it should redirect us back to instantly and remember we're not finished yet and so what i'm going to do is select that user i'm going to go ahead and go to settings and we want to turn on our custom tracking domain okay this is very important i wouldn't recommend leaving open tracking on for the longevity of your cold email campaign but just to ensure that everything's working at first it is good Good to get a gauge of that open rate which if you use this setup is going to be pretty high so what we're going to want to do is create this record right here so we'll go back to our dns settings and remember you need to do this at the domain level and so that means for every single domain you'll need to repeat this process so we're going to select c name and then we're going to copy basically what instantly tells us to do so the the name is going to be i n s t like that and then the value we're just going to paste what instantly told us rocks.ittrackly.com one and a half hours we're going to select 
select save, updating the DNS record. And this can take a little bit to, to propagate, but the way that you test it is you just copy your domain right here where it says enter your, your tracking domain. We just do INST dot and then the domain. And then we'll select check status. Again, sometimes this takes a little bit to load. And so you might have to give it a little bit, but this will essentially install your custom tracking domain. And then after you've done that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go to warm up and make sure that it is enabled. And then you wanna repeat this process for every single one of your users to ensure that they all get put on warm up as well as they all have a custom tracking domain. That's pretty much it. If you got value out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And before you go, last week I uploaded a three and a half hour video covering cold email from A to Z. And so now that you've actually got the correct setup, I'd recommend going and watching that video so you know how to write good cold email so you know how to scrape good leads, so you know how to do inbox management. And so you can take this setup and actually start seeing results with it. So definitely go check that out. It will be in the description below.